Really interesting topic for discussion today. Parents, of course, you know, we want to brag about our kids, right? What they do, what they say, all that fun stuff. But how much is too much specifically in what you're posting online? Gail Bell from Parenting Power is here to chat about this. We're talking about sharenting. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows someone via Facebook, whatever happens to be, that uh, shares a disproportionately high amount about their children and also things that their kids probably don't want down the road their kids to yeah. you know had to have been shared about them so right? what are you modeling for your child well, because we're just always it. on our kids about what are you posting don't yeah. post this and yeah yeah okay so do's what should I do share when it's regarding the children um, you can share your joys and proud moments yeah just not via social network because yeah. other than grandma and aunties, nobody really cares. So you think zero, right? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Online, okay. Mm -hmm. So nothing on Facebook, nothing on Twitter, nothing on Instagram. It never goes away. It, yeah, that's just it. And that's the big message of all this is whatever you put online, whether you're saying your kid's the best or you're really upset with your child, right. stays there. And, the, and it does seem to be the extremes, yeah. Ted. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I really think that we need to take the opportunity as parents and sit back and say, why? Yeah. Why am I doing this? Are you looking at for self-validation? I think that's part of it. You know? Yeah. So absolutely share. And, and, but honestly, think. I do believe, and most people we talk to do believe, it is just dad or grandma or mom or That's aunties right. that care or your best friend. So email them. Email it, yeah. Or yeah. text a photo and say, text hey, a photo. look, my daughter right. did text. this Sorry, today. that was showing my age. Oh, text. it's all good. No, 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 it's all good. I email stuff too. Right. Um, so nothing, right? Because, I mean, how bad would it be that if something you posted when your child's 12 leads to them getting turned down for a job when they're 18. And people will say, oh, that would never happen. Come on, a picture of them oh. looking crazy in their grade well. six school photo. Yeah, it could. It could. It never goes away. And, and honestly, people still are having a hard time saying, but I only posted on my, um, sure. you know, my private part. It's not private. No. Once you post something, it is public. It is a public forum. Yeah. Anybody and everybody can see it. It's true. Right. It's true. Right. Imagine an employer searching for your daughter or son yeah. down the road. Am I going to choose this person or that person? Mm -hmm. And this person has 500 pictures posted of them doing ridiculous things and parents venting about their son or daughter mm -hmm. versus this person. You're going to go with this one. Yeah, you are. And, yeah. and it's, it's, a, it's reality. Yeah. Social networking is an awesome tool. So again, it's how we use it, when we use it. Sure. But parents do that 24-hour wait rule. Yeah, so the 24-hour wait rule is what? It's honestly just not getting that hit yeah that instant hit and the more you do it the more you practice so you just wait 24 hours and you say to yourself why am i doing this yeah exactly right. why am i doing this am i really doing this for my child so one example is wishing your child happy birthday on your facebook page sure. well technically they shouldn't even have a facebook page if they're under 13. fair which, enough you know so why look yeah. at them in the eyes and say i love you and happy birthday and i always i always look at it and maybe i just just because of my years in news and people, you know, doing stories about stolen identities. If you're saying what day is your child's birthday, that's one piece of information that someone could possibly use down the road. Am Abs I wrong? Absolutely. Yeah, like, yeah. Absolutely. Or, you know, a lot of um, photos get posted while on vacation. Yeah. Not home. Not home, I know. There's the whole kind of that part of it too, right? If you're sharing while you're away, yeah. that's a totally yeah. different story. But we've talked to kids, and, yeah. and honestly, some of the older kids we've talked to have actually said, you know, it's pressure. I feel like if I don't do something great, my mom can't post yeah. that day. If I don't perform. If then. I don't perform. And, you know, there's lots of people calling Facebook fake book now because uh. you usually just post how great your family sure, is. Sure, sure. Very good. You know? If people want to find out more about you, Gail, or Parenting Power, how do they do that? That's right. We are at parentingpower.ca. Parentingpower.ca. We have links on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Great, great topic, Gail. Thanks for coming in to chat about it. Always.